Hi, welcome back to OD YouTube channel. Today I have here another unboxing, big package, and today we have again another Japanese pen that comes from Spain. This time the store is estilograficas.com and let's see what we have here. Okay, I forgot to show you my Victorian Knox knife, but you already know this one. I like this Christmas winter looking knife. And so here you have the card from the store, estilograficas.com. And let's see what we have here. We have one pen and several inks that the inks are not for me, are, my, are for my friend Luis because I'm trying to reduce the number of inks I have currently. And so let's see. Uh, I can. Sh I think I can show you the inks. He won't mind, but just for you to see, they're not for me. One is this Rohrer und Klinger Leipziger Schwarz. Sorry about my German. I don't really know German. Uh, he bought several inks because. He loves inks more than I do, I guess. The other one is Roran Klingner Sepia. There are still two more inks to go. The other one is this KWZ Iron Gold Turquoise. And finally, kind of a classic ink, the Schiffer Script Turquoise, which is a beautiful ink. I have and use this one. I guess I have the Roran Cleaner Sepia also, but I'm not sure. I have the Alt Gold Green that I really like. Then we have here a kind of a catalog of Roran Cleaner that my friend Luis will receive together with inks and here I have the pen so let me take this a little bit away put the box here on the floor and I will zoom in a little bit and let's take a look at the pen so we will open this here I confess I'm not trying to have I'm trying not to have more ink but when I see inks for other people I kind of envy them okay there is something extra so here is something gracias another card from Estilográficas and gracias Paulo una vez más adjunto un detalle de propia marca saludos un saludo Eugenio so they say they send me a little detail from the brand. I wonder what it is. Wow, nice, a, a, a nice pouch by Platinum. So now you already know that the pen inside is a Platinum pen. Great. These are always useful to have. I really use them to take pens to work. So. It's nice. Now we have a platinum pen inside this kind of very generic box with a cardboard sleeve, black one with a little window cut to show the platinum Japan 1919. And then we will open this. There is no much secret now. And we have a 3776 century. And yes, I the cartridge and beneath there should be some papers no the papers are above let me put papers and cartridge below take the pen out close these and let me show you 
the Platinum 3776 Century and this is the one with a medium nib, uh, uh, sorry, with a fine nib, fine gold nib, the gold plated version with the gold plated trim. I asked for this pen in medium but I think Platinum had some trouble with the supply so it wouldn't be there and I decided to go for a fine because I actually have one of these uh, nibs already as a medium so it doesn't come with a converter because this pen doesn't come with one. So I told you before that I should buy one of these pens I think I told you why and I will just move the camera down a little bit more and I will talk to you right now about that. Okay, so I have here the Platinum 3776 in black with the gold trim and the big idea about all this stuff it began with something else that is quite quite different. Let me just check if I can find one other pen that should be here for this video. Okay, it's there. Let me grab it. Okay, here it is. It all started with this pen. This is a Tombow um, 8... now I forgot the number. Uh, it is a Tombow Zoom, I think it is 828FP. Uh, it is also known as the Tombow Egg, which is a pen, it is a very short pen with an interesting nib design, very uncommon, and the design of the pen is very strange overall, it's very bulky but small. And I got this pen because I found it very very fun and I had to buy it. So this is a Japanese pen with this kind of shape. But this is just the start of it. It is a Japanese pen and when I researched more about that I understood that this Tombow Egg was really inspired by another pen from Platinum. The Fun Platinum. Glamour that I showed you lots of times here on the channel. This pen also with a small nib, wide, very strange, with a clip cap like this Tombow Egg. So this one was the origin for that. And I thought, okay, if I have this one, I have to go uh, back and get that one. So it made sense to me. And that's how I got with this Platinum Glamour because I needed to uh, make everything else make sense. And because of the Platinum Glamour and because of this one, I also had the need to get, of course, then the Majon or the Moonman Q1 because although this one is a screw fit cap, it is actually the same kind of pen as this. Okay, it's this kind of crazy. Got this one, then I found out that this one was origined by that and then this Chinese pen was made after that one. So I got all three. Let me take this out of the way. So I was with Platinum Glamour and of course I investigated more about this pen and I found out this was kind of uh, a cartoon sized pen of a full sized pen which was the Platinum 3776 Gathered which was the first Platinum 3776 pen. It is from 7, 1978, this is a more modern version but the, the looks was this one with lots of these ridges there and this was the, the first one had some differences, the nib was different but it was actually this pen and you can see that the nib of this one is the same nib as the Platinum Century. So the same kind of idea but with a different design clip cap as a clip cap this click cap this one. So these two are kind of the same pen in different approaches. 
why can't you stay there as I want you to be? Okay, so then I decided at some point that it would be interesting to have, where are you? The mostly because Waski Squirrel is, is talking about it very often, the Platinum, it's not the 3776, it's just the Platinum President, which is an interesting pen. This, the, the, it has this kind of very classic cigar shape and it has this nib that says President, Platinum President, also gold nib with the heart-shaped uh, breather hole, two-tone nib, and I thought it was an interesting addition to the collection. But then I thought that I actually once reviewed this pen, it was the Silver Trim, but I reviewed this pen that was on loan by Apple Boom, and at some point I bought the last year this one. This is a special edition and this is the pen that makes reference to the 10th anniversary of the Platinum 3776 century and of course clearly it is clearly inspired in its design by the Platinum Gathered. However, the 3776 has a screw fit cap like the President and unlike those. So this is similar in design but it has a screw cap and let me show you the nib on this pen is also very different it's a special nib also with a breather hole with the shape of a now when i have these pens i need to think how to open them not to force anything so we are at the point that i have the president here, the 3776 gathered, the glamour, which is the strangest one on this uh, set because it actually takes international cartridges, short cartridges, and it doesn't have the breather hole. And this is the one with the only one with a steel knee, but it would. It could be found with a gold nib originally. And so we have three or four different platinum nibs here. And so finally, I didn't... I can say and then you'll tell me, ah, you're just talking about, around, okay. Um, it was not my intention, really, to get a platinum 3776 Sentry at first. I like it, I liked it when I, when I reviewed, but I have other pens that I like, I didn't have the need to have that one. But after seeing that I have the original 3776 gathered, then the Glamour, that I have the President, and I have the... By the way, I need to find the timeline for the President line, then I have these uh, anniversary, 10th anniversary special edition or limited edition of the 3776 century inspired on that, I really should have the Platinum 3776 century, the regular one. So here it is. It is a pen that's really, really similar. As you can understand, I will have some, a couple of videos around these pens because it's lots of material to work with. So you can see that the Platinum 3776 is very similar with the Platinum President. The Platinum President is just, just a little bit longer, maybe a little bit thicker, but I'm not completely sure about that. And the biggest difference is when you uncap both pens, you have different nibs and the president has a ring next to 
the nib. I read or I heard some people saying that the Platinum will change their regular 3776 uh, nibs to the nib the same as this one. I'm not sure of that information, it's just something that I read or saw on YouTube, I'm not sure of that, but I really have to have the 3776 Sentry with regular nib while it is still available, if that information is correct, of course. So let me just check if I am capping all this and I just want to also to bring here to the table a couple more pens, and it's really just a couple, of Japanese pens that are similar. Of course, when I'll make a, a, a bigger video I can talk a little bit more, because I also have this one, which has the same kind of uh, overall design, but I have also two other pens that I enjoy a lot. One is this. I actually wanted to show this first. One is this. This is the Pilot Costume 743, which is a very interesting pen, also with a gold nib, and it is a very nice pen. It's longer. It is the same uh, kind of shape. I think the equivalent in size would be the 742. I have also the 74 and the 67. I have them there. Maybe I'll make more complete videos in the future. Just This is just to show you. And I also have this one. That's, this is a pen that I really, really enjoy. It was my second uh, sailor pen ever. My first was a, a Pro Color 500 with a, a steel nib. And once I found these in used condition, you can see there is some uh, abrasion to the gold plating. And I really enjoyed this 21 karat gold nib. However, unfortunately, or not, I've not been using this pen a lot lately because I have the Sailor King of pen that I enjoy more because of the size. So this is the Sailor 1911 large and you can see they are all the same kind of pens. Of course we can add here the King of pen, the Mont Blanc, the Costume 74, the Pilot, the... we can have some Chinese pens here and some other makers. I will make a longer video. This is a just an unboxing and it's already too long, but I think this is fun just to show all these and I'm really happy to have the, where is it? This one? This one? This is the, the century and this is the, the present. They are so similar that it's kind of hard to tell them apart. Um, and what I would like to ask you if you know of some link where you can direct me to have more about the history of the these are the fibers of the of the burlap uh, if you could guide me on for more information on the platinum president because i know that this model is discontinued now and as far as i know this one is discontinued for many years this one is discontinued recently and this one also discontinued recently and i really wanted to have more information about the president model uh, regarding the time frame. So, this is all I had to show you today. It was already a lot. Many inks and many pens and this is it. I hope to find you soon. So, thank you. This was a purchase, but thank you to Estilográficas for sending me a platinum pouch that I will use to take one of these pens to work soon. So thank you so much again and I hope to meet you here in the channel soon. Bye!